What's up guys, I'm here today at 2K headquarters. I cannot wait any longer. So let's head inside. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV postseason. I'm not sure if you guys heard the news, but we just announced that you can pre-order NBA 2K16 to make sure that you get it four days before the scheduled release date. So here's the deal. When you pre-order, you receive the game on Friday, September 25th, four days ahead of the street release date. Along with that, you will get 10,000 VC and a My Team VIP package. Pretty sweet, right? But with all this talk about pre-ordering 2K16, I just had to figure out what else we can expect in next year's game. Since the NBA 2K development team doesn't want to share anything with me, I decided to crash 2K headquarters and see what information I could dig up on my own. What's up guys, I'm here today at 2K headquarters and I'm on a mission to figure out some of these 2K16 details. I cannot wait any longer. So let's head inside. Hey. Hey, how's it going? So I'm wondering where Scott O'Gallagher's office is. Yeah, it's just upstairs and down the hall to the right. Taking a ride in the elevator. Scott. I sense trouble. Yes. You should sense trouble because I'm feeling in the dark. Our community's feeling in the dark. We all want to know what's going on in 2K16, and I heard that you're working on some stuff. There's definitely some hotness in the building for yeah. sure. There's a lot of it. The team is huge with us, and it's going to be enormous this year. So we got a ton of stuff that we're doing. Here I've got game one of uh, the Rockets and Warriors, and then I'm gonna watch again game two. We'll watch them, I'll meet with my engineer, I'll contact players or coaches, and then we just confirm what's being seen and talk about X's and O's, and you should have so something pretty special for 2K16. So you actually talk to the coaches Absolutely. about their strategies. Absolutely, it's quite the experience. And speaking of teams. Oh, teams, Teams, yes. we've had some requests for some retro or classic teams to be in 2K16. Do you know anything about that? I'll give you three. Okay, cool. I'm only giving three. Um, for you Raptors fans, the 99-2000 uh, Vince Carter T-Mac team is in. The team that dethroned my Lakers, I won't say dethroned, but beat them in 2008, the Boston Celtics with Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and KG, when they first came together, that team is in. The best record in NBA playoff history, the 15-1, 2000 and one Los Angeles Lakers. That's sick, so Boston, Lakers, and Raptors, yep. and there might be more. Mm -hmm. There might be more. Oh yeah. Do you know anything that's happening with the shoes? Because we're getting these requests to like make the shoes look more real. I know quite a bit, but I don't know as much as Mr. Jones. So this way to get the sneaker. Right out to your left. Cool. Yep. Well, thanks. Thank you. I'm gonna go charge into Rob's office and right. see what I can get. I think it's this one. Rob? Hey, hey, I'm here to talk about some shoe stuff. Yeah, no, we, can, we can't do it in here, though. This way? Yep, that way. All right, cool. So Winnie is a, our artist who works on the shoes more than anybody else. Hey, Winnie. Hi. We're here to talk shoes. Yes. So this year we're we're really pushing the uh, quality of the shoes, you know. So we're 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 doing things like uh, 3D scan them. Uh, that's one a big thing uh, for next year. We have Dwayne Wade shoes in the game. You know, we'll have um, Clay Thompson shoes on, and Anta. You know, and I mean, you know, I, I'm even currently working with uh, trying to get you know like Brand Black in for Jamal, Jamal Crawford. Yeah. And it's you know, people would sit there and go, you know, why would you go that far for one guy? We're so accurate, or we're trying to be so accurate in the game that it's it's really important to us. So right here, she's comparing what the real shoe looks like and then creating it. Correct. So this is awesome about the shoes. I'm excited, I'm a sneakerhead too. <laughs> um, but we've also been getting some requests on making the crowd look more lifelike. There's no one better to talk about it than Asif Chowdhury. Okay. His office is down the hall, kind of from where you came. Okay. Earlier. This is Asif <laughs> and this is Joe Levesque. 
Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> so today I'm here at headquarters because I'm investigating 2K16. And I was just talking to Rob about the shoes. He said that you guys are making the crowd more real life. Yep. So what's going on? Can't tell you. Can't tell me anything? Here we're trying to make the crowd a lot better. Um, we actually reshot all the animations this year. So we have uh, Joe directed that shoot. And we have a lot of um, hopefully really exciting, pumped up animations that are gonna just take the atmosphere to the next level. And there's a few other things that I don't exactly want to give away yet. You know, it's the playoffs right now, right? So if, you, if, you're, if you're watching the games, like we're all, of course, totally focused on the Warriors here, everything going on at Roracle, and basically that's what we want to try to deliver is we want you to feel that totally like just the whole place goes insane on the big moments, so. Cool. Do you guys work on anything with player movement? That's your boy, Mike Wang. Not that often. Hello? You're looking at what, 2K16 information? 2K16 information, Oh, yes. hide everything. <laughs> Turn everything off. You know, from a gameplay standpoint, we, at the beginning of the year, I always challenge the guys with something big. But I think for 16, I want to say this is the biggest and most challenging, like, just stuff we've th thrown at these guys, within, in recent memory at least. So. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on under the hood, with animations especially, and tech. Like Justin said earlier, authenticity is our MO from a gameplay standpoint, so we're hitting all the big things, all our features, but we're working on something big that we don't want to talk about yet. I want to. <laughs> we're, yeah, we, it's, it's probably, it's stressing out a lot of our AI engineers, yeah. but it's gonna be, in my opinion, one of the things that's gonna make the game look significantly better than any game that's been before it. So we're excited pretty to show it tough, off. Because it looked pretty good last year. Oh yeah, it's gonna look a lot better this year. <laughs> Can you send me away with any last little bit of information? Two words. There have been plenty of crazy buzzer beaters so far during the NBA playoffs, and you guys have proven to be pretty clutch yourselves. So let's check out the top five buzzer beater plays of the year. The 2K community had such a fun time opening their LeBron Sprite Mix boxes, and luckily, Sprite sent me a little box of my own. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I haven't even checked it out yet. So on the top layer, I have obviously the Sprite LeBron's Mix, and we have the LeBron 12 custom Nike ID. <laughs> Thanks, Sprite. 
If you guys want a chance to win a box like this, then make sure that you head over to MyCokeRewards.com and click on the sweepstakes button. We only have a couple more episodes left of NBA 2K TV, so make sure that you guys tune in next week, and I'll see you soon. Yeah.